It's time to recap 52 weeks of drone news update, and let's get started with the first category, which is all the new drones for 2022. EB, Autel, Matternet, Alta, but really DJI this year dominating the market with no less than eight new drones, starting with the Mini 3 Pro was finally released. The Matrice 30 was released. The Alta X, the Wing Tri 1, the Spirit, and the EB Tech. The DJI Avada, six different versions of the Hotel Evo 2. Matternet has received a production certificate from the FAA. The Mavic 3 Classic, their Mavic 3 Enterprise, and a Mavic 3 Thermal, and also a Mavic 3 Multispectral. The new EB Vision drone, the DJI Mini 3 being released, not the Mini 3 Pro. As the industry evolves, so do the regulation. Between recommendations from rulemaking committee, everyone's favorite dirty word, that is remote ID, and even new CBOs, we saw some regulatory changes in 2022. Some of them were more popular than others. Let's take a look. Uh, the next thing is the BV loss, the Beyond Visual Line of Sight Aviation Ruling Committee came up with a report with a lot of recommendations for the FAA. We're about two months away from the first deadline of remote ID. The remote ID lawsuit that was brought up finally came up with a, a judgment and they ruled in favor of the FAA. Remote ID DOCs have been issued for some certain drones. The FAA finally approved a remote ID means of compliance. The EB drone which received category 3 approval and at the moment the only drone approved as category 3. We have new CBOs approved by the FAA. This year we also saw more drones being used for good, especially on the public safety side. While there were a lot of stories that we did not report on, here are some of our favorites. A Matrice 600 was used to send an AED device to a man that was suffering from a heart attack. A drone was used to rescue a woman after being in service for only three days. The Pilot Institute student who saved two lives, Texas game warden Michael Hummert, responded to two different search and rescue calls in Central Texas using a thermal drone to find a missing two-year-old. The child was able to be found and the rescuers were guided to the child's location. And of course, we can talk about the good without talking about the bad. While Florida Man was popular, other states this year have been working pretty hard for the title of the Don't Be Thy Guy of the Year. Let's take a look. Last week during the Bengals game, someone decided to fly their drone not only over the stadium, but over the stadium and inside of the stadium as well. A man that was arrested for drone smuggling, he was trying to bring a whole bunch of stuff into a prison. A man in Tennessee that was arrested after flying a drone over a jail yard. A drone pilot from New York was fined flying its drone over a bunch of people during a protest. They were fined $15,000. Somebody got their Mavic 3 shot down. They were taking pictures of the sunset and they heard four shots and then the aircraft fell out of the sky. We need to do better as drone operators to report these kind of incidents to everyone and to push as hard as possible. There's another drone smuggling attempt. This happened in Fort Worth, Texas. The man attempted to smuggle contraband including drugs, smartphone, and an MP3 player. It looks like he's actually going to be in quite a bit of trouble. The Dodgers game was stopped due to a drone, a mini three that was hovering low over the field. Players appeared to be discussing throwing a ball at the drone and then it basically turned away before they could do that and left the stadium. Two men in Cincinnati have been charged with federal crimes after flying their drones over a pro sporting event. I'm sure you remember that if you've been following us for a while. And sadly, this is something that seems to happen on a regular basis. Don't be that guy, right? This year, we unveiled a new studio and we have had quite a few visitors starting with these two guys right here. All right, let's go ahead and check out these leaked pictures of the new Mini 3. My name is Billy Kyle with Pilot Institute. Greg, did you call me smart? No. Greg, am I smart? No. Hi, I'm Vic Moss and welcome to my section of the photography class. We'll be working on four stories for you today. Howdy folks, my name is Jared Janacek. That's the secret, don't tell anyone. Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We've got four stories for you this week. My name is Hayek Aslo and you might know me from either Drone Excel or from the Pixel Drone Show. Hi, and I, and we are in person. Yeah, for the first time ever. Who's the loudest? He is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at all the wrong moments. That's the worst part. <laughs> We also visited several events this year, starting with CES in Vegas in January, followed by the Texas Robotics Summit in Vernon, Texas. And then we visited our flight test friends in Ohio for Flight Fest, then back to Vegas for Commercial UAV Expo, a quick trip to Colorado for UAS Roundup, a LIDA conference in Oregon, a drive to Phoenix for AZ Drone Fest, and then finally one more trip to Vegas for DJI Airworks. 
2022 was a great year for Pilot Institute. We released a new wiki page that keeps track of all the local drone regulation. We released 12 new free courses to help the community. We have eight new paid courses, including our mapping and photography videography series. We also became the largest online Part 107 training company with over 60,000 trained pilots. And we now have over 200,000 students in our system. We sponsored many local community events such as AZ Drone Fest, the Florida Meetup, the Texas Robotics Summit, the Dallas Drone Workshop, the Colorado UAS Roundup, and many, many others. We issued over 18,000 free registration stickers to date, and then we also issued more than 100,000 free trust certificates on behalf of the FAA. We offer two new free courses on FAAsafety.gov, and then we also issued nearly 2,000 WINX credits in the last four months only since we started doing this to pilots all over the country. We also have over 62,000 subscribers now on this channel, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and be one more. And uh, of course, we had also a ton of bloopers this year, so let's get to those. No, no, no. Nope, nope. No, still not. That was a bad ending. Yes. No, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Wow. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> wow. News update. Take 12. Take 12. Take 12. What? A 3D flying printer. Flying 3D printer. That's not the same. News update. Take 13. Kaluawa. Kaluwa. Kaluawa. No, that's not a right word. How about blinker fluid? Wow, this is gonna be good. Volcano tracking with drone. We'll talk about volcano va tracking with drones. We'll talk about tracking dro- And now that's recorded, so. <laughs> well, welcome to your weekly US news update. It's getting a little hot in here. Done. All right, 